We have a Royal Navy engineer from just down the road at Yeovilton who's setting himself the most extraordinary challenge. Sean Gaffney wants to complete one of the toughest endurance events in the world, but there's one extra hurdle he'll have to overcome if he wants to succeed. For two years, Sean Gaffney has harbored a big ambition. He's been training hard to take on one of the most extreme physical challenges in the world, a competition known simply as Tough Guy. Tough Guy is a grueling test of endurance, a battle between body and mind. The 16 kilometer course is designed to test every fear you can experience. And what will make it even more challenging for Sean is the fact that he only has one leg. first amputee ever to attempt the race. I'm visiting Sean at the Royal Navy Air Station in Yeovilton to find out a bit more about him. So, tell me about Tough Guy. I mean, it sounds like an act of madness taking part in something like that. It looks incredibly hard. A bit of trepidation about my, how my foot's going to hold up to all the climb, but also I've got to be very careful about where I place my foot because I just don't have the flexibility or the movement that I used to have. The biggest uh, concern is going to be the weather because every time I see it on, on the TV, everything's iced over and it's freezing cold. It is literally as tough as they make out. Sean used to be part of a team competing in the Royal Navy's historic field gun competition, but all that changed after an accident in 1999. A 900-pound cannon fell on his left foot, causing irreparable damage. You don't want to give the appearance to anybody that it's having an effect. When you're sat in a hospital bed, things seem pretty bad, but you don't want that to impact on your friends and family. When they turn up in the morning to, to visit you in hospital, then you put a big smile on your face and you pretend that no, everything's going to be okay and nothing's going to change and life will carry on as normal. Unfortunately, the doctors couldn't save his foot, but Sean was determined not to let his disability compromise his ambitions. Anything is possible with the correct mindset. I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't have done before my accident. I'm not taking any more risks or dangers than a normal person. I'm fully aware that you know, I have got one leg. I can't move as quickly. I'm not as agile. So I'm just more careful about you know, where I put my feet. All right, I, I had the accident, but with preparation, better planning, uh, yeah, a little bit of luck. So it makes no difference to, to my life whatsoever. It's the day of the race. I quickly catch up with Sean to see how he's feeling. Hi. Oh, oh, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Are you match fit? A bit late to find out, though, isn't it? <laughs> it feels pretty cold at the moment. Any idea how cold it is? Well, we were listening to the weather last night, and it's, it's a balmy two degrees at the moment. Well, it did say minus nine, but we're hoping to see where that far. Minus nine, and how on earth do we keep warm when the temperatures are like that? Uh, our plan is just to keep moving, and as long as we keep moving, we should be all right. Well, I'll be there on the start line to watch you set off, but let me just wish you best of luck now. Thank you very much. And I'll see you at the finish line, right. too. With the atmosphere building, Sean prepares for the arduous task ahead. Tough Guy attracts thousands of competitors to a muddy field near Wolverhampton. Every year they come to test themselves against one of the most grueling obstacle courses in the world. It's so demanding that many of them don't make it to the finish line. To complete the race, Sean will have to climb over huge barriers, go underwater and negotiate an obstacle that gives the competitors an electric shock. The race is going to start in about an hour and it's still seriously cold. In fact, when the first runner comes through, the first thing I'll have to do is break the ice. The race is considered so dangerous, participants have to sign their own death warrant in case they're killed or seriously injured during the event.
face, Sean faces the horrors of the electric shocks. Not far into the obstacle course, Sean is already having problems. Lock mechanism broken on the leg. Luckily I've got a sleeve on over the top, but it just keeps on sliding off. Despite the problems with his leg, Sean still has to face some of the most challenging and dangerous obstacles. His energy is starting to fade, and some of the other competitors are already dropping out. By this point, they've been in the water for about 10 minutes, as you can hear from the screen, and then they have to do that. It's burning, the stack hole is just, it just burns. emotional. It's, I can't even convert it to the old ice cream freeze. It's, it's like, I can't, you just can't think. Sean has got further than many now entering the final stages of the race. Yeah. It's taken him four hours, but Sean finally reaches the finishing line. You only get one life, and it's not a it's not a rehearsal. So you have to take opportunities when they come along. People turn around and say, "You can't do this." Like, well, if I can't do it, I will tell you if I can, what I can and cannot do. I'll put my hands up and say that is too difficult. But until I do that, it's bloody well achievable. If you don't want to do something, but you make yourself, if you know you're afraid, you know, if you face your fear. That's got to make you slightly stronger. You know, it's got to make you more confident. And it's got to make you more able for the next challenge. And that's how people grow.